Okay. So, those formulas will be helpful. Magiging benefit, magiging malaking tulong siya para sa topic natin ngayon, which is the problem solving involving sequence. Because we all know na para, pag problem solving yung um, topic or yung discussion, may mga formulas na pwede tayong ipasok. But the hint dyan, ay hindi indicated kung ano yung formula na kailangan yung gamitin, right? Ganun tayo pag problem solving eh. Hindi nakatulad pag, pag on the other uh, mathematical questions, alam nyo kung ano yung gagamitin nyo agad. But then, in problem solving, dito na papasok yung critical thinking. Pag sinabi natin critical thinking, hindi lahat spoon-fed, hindi lahat ibibigay na sa inyo. So, kailangan nyo siyang pag-isipang mabuti kung ano ba yung mga tama nyong um, mga tama nyong gagamitin. So, credits to the writer of this module. Saludo po kami sa inyo. So, in this topic or in this lesson while we are proceeding, can you please help me to read our objectives for this session, please? Letter A, B, C. Open your mic and answer or raise your hand if you want to answer just read. Basahin lang. I uh, want to hear the voice of Jana. Jana Ebrena, please. Ma'am, hindi ko po nakikita yung present, ma'am. Hindi mo nakikita yung presentation? How about the others? Nakikita po ba? Kaka-update ko lang po lang Google Meet, ma'am. Ano nakikita mo na? Ano nakikita mo diyan na sa Google natin? Mukha mo? Mukha ni ma'am? Wala po. Puro pictures lang po ng ano. Okay. Maybe medyo siguro naglalag lang. Pero merong nakapresent na yun si ma'am. Merong nakapresent na yun si ma'am. At pakibasa nga yun. Um, Jerome Mirabeno, are you there? Welcome. Welcome to our online class. Jerome Mirabeno, pakibasa nga yung letter A, B, and C. Wala din. How about Rain Ramos? Hello? Wala pa nga tayong sinasagot. Wala na ta wala nang sumasagot kay ma'am. What happened? Babasahin lang po yung A, B, and C. Babasahin lang po yung A, B, and C. Okay, please. Mala, do the honor. Illustrates the four types of sequences. B, solves problem involving different types of sequences using the four-step or EPSE problem-solving model. And C, demonstrates appreciation on the application of sequences in real-life situations. Thank you so much. So, yan yung ating ma um yan yung ating matatakel within the whole period okay next so for our lesson one we only have one lesson in this module is to solve problem involving sequence so for our pre assessment it is just 1 to 15 if i'm not mistaken i will give you pre test lang naman siya. So, ibig sabihin, we will just test your prior knowledge kung mayroon na ba kayong ideya on how to solve problem involving sequence. So, I will give you, you can open up your module. Pwede buksan yung mga module kasi hindi na na-screenshot ni ma'am yung 15 questions. Just answer the 15 questions and answer it for 5 minutes. Open up your camera para nakikita ni ma'am yung mga nagsasagot. I will give you five minutes para sagutan ang pre-test.
press 1 if you were all done. Okay, so since meron naman na kayong mga open yan sa inyong mga module, maybe we can skip the pre-test and proceed with our discussion. But, kailangan nyo pa rin po yung sagutan kasi yan yung mga pinapasa kima. So, first one nga if pwede na tayong mag-continue. Okay, skip muna natin tong pretest. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, let's proceed with our discussion for this afternoon, which is about solve problems involving sequence. Sequences are used in our daily lives for different purposes. If you look around at your surroundings, you will find many patterns. Totoo naman. In the previous lesson, you have learned about different types of sequences such as arithmetic sequence, geometric sequence, harmonic, and Fibonacci. Ngayon natin maamimit yan, geometric sequence, which can be used to determine growth, population growth, and interest while arithmetic sequence can be used to list of numbers, costs, and money. The harmonic sequence is the progression formed by taking the reciprocals of an arithmetic progression. The Bonacci series has been observed in nature like the structures of flowers, the epid epidermis of snails, distributions of galactic masses, spiral gala galaxies, or even parts of the body. So, we have here a picture, illustration. What have you noticed? Anong mapapansin yung any patterns na nakikita nyo? You can open your mic. Ma'am, nakikita ko po yung ganito po pantay-pantay. Ma'am, nakikita ko po yung ganito po sunod-sunod. Sige nga, analyze the picture. Come on, come on. I want some interactions. Wala akong naririnig. Open your mic. Ma'am, dun po sa... At, okay, okay, Angel, thank you. Dun po sa picture, sa baba, yung growth mo ng flower. Yes, exacto. Anong napapansin mo sa kanya, Angel? Yung kung paano po siya lumaki. Sequence po na kung okay, paano siya. Okay, thank you so much. May sequence? Okay, so may pattern. Ayan, very good. What else? How about the others? Open your mic and say, woo! No more? Ma'am, yung po parang ladder. Yes, Marco, thank you so much. Alin? Yung parang ladder po. Yung parang ladder, yes. Very good. Anong mapapansin mo sa ladder? Nagkakasalubong po sila sa taas, parang meron, parang nandun na po yung, ano, yung top na, basta yun po yung... Okay, nag, yes, I got it, I got it. Nakukuha ni ma'am, parang nandoon yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga, ng mga um, palapag, ng ladder, what else? Yung... Yes, yes, open your mic. Yes, Yel, open your mic. Wala bang ano si Yel? Walang mic? Wala na, wala akong naririnig. Wala akong naririnig. 
Okay, si Ryan ang mic ni Biel, pero nabasa ko sa chat niya yung mga jars. Yes. Anong mapapansin natin sa mga jars? So, magkakapatong sila from 5, naging 4. Siguro kung may kapatong pa yan, magiging 3. Yung 3, pag may kapatong pa, magiging 2 and 1, naging pyramid jars na siya. Which is also part of a sequence and pattern. So, we can, um, we can justify or we can conclude that patterns or sequences can be related in our real-life situations. So, for this, um, for this part, it is just a short, ano ba tawag din natin dito? Brief, kung paano ba tayo nagsosolve ng isang Um, ng isang problem solving involving patterns. So, for this letter A, for each of the following question, please refer to the table, choose the letter of the best answer, and write it on a separate sheet of paper to reveal the hidden message. So, meaning, in this question, sa so number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, merong hidden letters na mag-a-appear dyan, which is yung sagot na dito sa mga letters na to. Diyan sa mga letters na yan. So, Ma'am Dayan will try to answer number one. And then, we will proceed answering number two to nine later on your notes. Ito yung sinasabi ni Ma'am to use your notes. So, I will be presenting on how to answer number one. Okay. So... Ayan. Nakikita ba yung presentation ni ma'am? Opo, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Ayan. So, we have here 30. So, we have here 30 is equal to 10 plus 4x. So, we need to find, for letter I, we need to find the value of X. Okay, for a while. Isang po, ah, napanggal lang yung search naman sa laptop. Baka, baka mamatay, sayang naman. Uno, 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 mag-charge. Okay, let's charge. Ika na, baka kasi mamatay yung ano yung mamila. Ito po. Ang hirap na mamatay. Oh my God, charging talaga. Wait lang ha. Siguro mag i ako sa laptop pero mag-go-go pa rin ako sa cellphone. I don't know why. Hindi ko magana yung charger ko for a while.
Okay, hello. So, continue tayo, no? Pasensya na, mamamatay yung laptop ko. Pero dito na lang rin ako magpre-present sa, um, sa cellphone. I don't know why, what happened to my charger. Ayaw niya mag-charge. Okay, so, let's proceed. Naka-present pa ba si ma'am sa laptop? Hintayin na lang natin mamatay. So, Asa na nga tayo? Share screen. Ayan, start broadcast. Ayan. So, for our question number one, ito yun. Ayan. Nakikita, namatay na yung laptop ko. <laughs> Nakikita po ba? Yes po. Nakitype na mga Okay, yes, pa. Ano naman pang pangyayari? So, ayan. So, let's check the answer number one. Let's check the answer number one. So, we have... Yes, Thirty is equal to ten plus four x. So let's just find the value of x. We will just do the transposition method in which ito. Yes, napakaisip lang naman. So thirty minus ten is equal to twenty. is equal to 4x. Divide both sides by 4 para makuha natin yung value ng x. So, x is equal to 5. Right? And then, let's proceed with the um, with the vote, with the choices. Alin ba dyan yung may sagot na number 5? So, what letter? I. What letter? So, letter I. I. So, the first letter, yes, 5. So, it's letter I. So, the first letter for number one is I. Now, help me to answer number two and then present your screen. Go, go, go. Ako po, ma'am. Yes, okay, Angel. Okay. Nakikita niyo na po, ma. Yes, po. So, you need to find the value of x, which is 15 minus 3x equals 45. Okay. Sige, you can open your mic para mas naririnig nila yung ginagawa mo. Go ahead. Itara-transpose po natin yung 3x sa labas ng equal. So, okay. Hi. Fifteen minus forty-five is equals to three x. Okay. Tapos negative thirty. Negative thirty is equals to three x. Okay. Divide both sides by three. X okay. is equal to negative 10. Okay. So, negative 10. Let's look. Kung ang neg Thank you so much, Angel. Very good. Let's look kung meron mag negative 10 sa ating choices. L, ma'am. Okay. The answer is letter L. Nakita yung broadcast ni ma'am. So, the, 
the letter negative 10 is is for is in letter L. So we have I and L. Next, number three, who wants to answer? Number three. Walang gusto magsagot? Mama ko, ma'am. Okay, General Mala. Open your screen. Mike. Wait, ma'am, wait, ma'am. Go ahead. Times eight. Times eight. Yeah. Magiging eight to ma'am. Tapos is equal to 4x times 8, 8, 16, 24, 32. 32. Tapos. Oh, nakalimutan ko. Don't worry, don't worry. Si Ma'am na? Nakalimutan ko. Ah, sige, para maalala mo ito, ipapa, ipapaki, ipapaalala sa'yo ni ma'am. Ayan, so nakikita yung share screen ulit ni ma'am? Opo ma'am. Nakikita? Okay. So, erase, erase ko lang to. Ayan. So, 1-8. 1-8 is equal to... 4x raised to 5. Tapos na 5 yan. Okay? Ayan, kapagod dito. Erase lang mo na natin. Para maging now. Ayan. 1,8 is equal to 4x raised to 5. So, finding the value of x. Para makuha natin yung value ng x, we need to divide both sides by 4. 8 yan ha? 8. We need to divide both sides by 4. Ma'am, bakit? Para ma-cancel mo yung 4 at para matira na lang is yung x raised to 5. Okay? And then, 1 over 8 divided by 4. Ma'am, paano po yun? Katulad ng mga nabanggit ni Ma'am nung nakaraan, by a reciprocate method, ayun, ayaw. Diba? Ayan, 8. Mumultiply na natin siya by 1 fourth. Kasi nga, ang reciprocal ng 4 over 1 is 1 over 4. And then, proceed to multiplication. 1 over 32 is equal to x raised to 5. Ma'am, eh, 5 lang. Ma'am, x lang po yung pinapahana. Paano po ang gagawin natin dyan? So, we need to get the fifth root of both sides. Pag kinuha natin yung fifth root, uh, alam, ayaw. Kinuha natin yung fifth root, fifth root yan, ah, basta, basta fifth root yan, ayan, may five dyan, ayaw, masulatan eh, ayan. Fifth root yan, and then, we need to get also the fifth root of x. Para makancel natin yung 5 at ang matitira na lang ay yung x. Okay? And then, we need to get the fifth root of 1 over 32. Ano ba ang fifth root ng 32? Kasi ang fifth root ng 1 ay 1. 
Ang fifth root ng 32 is 2. Two. Two. Bakit? Yes, exactly. Bakit naging 2? Kasi 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. Pag 5 times mong minultiply yung 2, ang sagot, 32. So, meaning, our x is equal to 1 half. Am I clear? Na Intindihan po ba yun? So, what is the letter for 1 half? What is the letter? O po. 1 half is O. Okay. Now, let's proceed with number, ah, we, let's proceed with Roman numeral number 2 or the 4, 5, and 6. Who wants to answer number 4? Oh, si Ma'am Diane muna and then let's proceed with number 5 and 6. For number 4, may present pa ako? Meron, ma'am. Okay. Nakukuha ha. Nasa module nyo naman to eh. Kahit hindi mag-present ni ma'am yung... Ano ba yan? Ay, mabuk. Kahit hindi mag-present ni ma'am yung module, meron naman kayong module dyan. So, for our number four... We have 5n minus 1, which n is equal to 2. Okay? So, how was that? Yung n daw is equal to 2. So, what is the answer? So, we just need to substitute n by 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. We have 10 minus 1 is equal to 9. So, the value of n is, ah, the value of the equation is 9. So, let's try to answer number 4 and number 5. Who wants to try it? Which 2m is equal to 7, m is equal to negative. And by the way, number 4 is letter, 9 ang sagot eh, is letter, Open your mic. B, ma'am. Okay, B. Very good. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, let's answer number five. 2M is it? 2M plus 7 is equal to... Ah, which M is equal to negative 3? What's the answer? Other naman. Very easy lang yung didistribute nyo lang. Didistribute nyo lang yung negative 3. Marco, try it. You wanna try, Marco? Di ba, di ba, ano, di pa kaya, ma'am. Di pa kaya. How about the others? O sige, Angel, go ahead. Para hindi na masayang yung marami nating time. Angel, open and share your screen. Okay na, ma'am. Okay, present me. Um... Two M plus seven. Nak, paki apa ni? Wait lang nak, paki rotate yung cellphone mo, para hindi nak, para hindi nak balik tadi yung tingin kami. Yung ion mo yung rotate ng phone mo. Wait lang pa. Okay. Okay napa? pa din ata. Eh, pero sige, again, go. Sige, go. Go ahead. Kita naman namin. Baka updating lang. 2M okay. plus 7 which, which M is 3 Substitute lang po ng tingnit siya sa M. 3 ba yun or negative 3? Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3. Negative 3 po tayo. Okay. 2 times negative 3 is equal to 6 plus 7 is equal to 1. So, 1. Let's see if it's correct. 
So, sige na, I will explain. Go go open your presentation. Ma'am Diane will explain. Okay. So, we have here 2M plus 7, which M is equal to negative 3. So, yung M daw, negative 3, iaano lang natin siya, i, di, i, sa substitute doon sa M. So, we have 2 times negative 3 plus 7. 2 times negative 3 negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Okay. So, in our, thank you so much, very good angel. In our choices, our 1 is equal to letter... Letter what? E po. Letter E. Very good. So we e. have I, L, O, V, E. Let's proceed with number 6. Who wants to try? Marco, kaya na? I-substitute lang yung X. Gagawin lang 5. Ma'am, mamaya. Ako, di po agad. Hindi, hindi. Hindi pwede. Hindi pwede. Kaya mo yan. Kaya mo yan. Yung X daw is equal to 5. You can do it. Yung X po is equal to 5. Kaya ba, Nax? Marco? Hello? Nakikita na po ba yung presentation? Wala po ang nakikita na. Anong gamit mo? Cellphone or laptop? Yung phone ko po. Oh, sige. You can use Messenger or Facebook on, on presenting. Share your screen. Stop sharing si ma'am. Share your screen. Ayan. Okay. Nakikita na namin. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Good. So, you need to find the value of x, which is x. Uh, you need to find the value of the equation, which is x is equal to 5 and x minus 11. Okay. So, 5 minus 11. Okay. Equals? 5 minus 11 equals ano? Negative 6. It's very good. So, di ba? Super know. easy lang. Sabi mo, hindi mo kaya. Kaya mo eh. Ma'am, kasi ma'am, nagka-problema ka sa cellphone ko, ma'am eh. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Go. That would be fine. Very good. So, x is equal to, uh, the equation is equal to negative 6. Which is equal to what letter? M, ma'am. M po. M. Very good. Okay, so we have I L O V E M. And then 7 8 9 ako na magkasagot para madali para mabilis. Okay, screen ako. Meron po. Okay. For number find the value of x rin ba? Okay, solve for x also. So, for number 7, number 7, okay, so we have x squared plus 2 is equal to 10. So, we have x squared is equal to 10, transpose 2, magiging negative 2, x squared is equal to 8. Ma'am, x lang po pinapahanap. So, we need to get the square root of both sides to cancel the square. 
So, we have x is equal to square root of 8. Mami, square root po ba yung 8? Wala pong square root yung 8, pero kaya natin siyang i-eliminate or pababain pa. So, we have here, mag-isip ka ngayon ng dalawang number na pag multiply mo, 8 yung sagot, pero yung isa may perfect square. So, ibig sabihin, may, may specific na sagot siya. So, we can use 4 and 2. Again, para makuha yung square root ng, um, ano ba tawag doon? Mababang evidence. Para makuha yung square root ng 8, you need to think of two numbers na pag multiply ay 8 and yung isa doon may perfect square. May perfect square ba? Perfect square ba yung 4? Yes. Ano ang square root ng 4? Square root ng 4 is 4. So, square root of 4 at wala, it will remain inside the radical 5. So, for number 7, the answer is 2, square root of 2. Nakuha po ba yun? Say yes, kung nakuha. Ma'am, pag ano ma'am, sasagot ang pa po sa digital yan ang bukod ma'am.
of fifth root of six since wala yan na po yung sagot ano letter po ito h ma'am meron ba sa so, okay h so we have i l o v e m a t h so the answer the hidden answer is what I love math. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miel, for your response. Okay. So, let's proceed with the next slide. Love ka ba? Yun ang tanong. Ayan. So, start broadcast. Okay. So, let's proceed with the next slide. Pasensya na kayo. Wala ang slide si Ma'am sa sa ano sa laptop dahil nasira ang charger ko malamang kinagat yun ni Kali. Okay, consuming more fresh fruits and vegetables is one of the most important things. Ito yun yung mga sample na problem solving. Ay, meron pa pala dito mga question. Sorry sa letter B. List down daw yung different formulas and different sequence na na, 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 na pag-aralan natin. I sabihin na lang ni ma'am. So, the see different formulas and sequence that we discuss. Ay, pakita ko na lang sa aking camera dahil sinulat na ni ma'am ito. Nakikita? Yes? Or no? Nakikita po ba? Lo, wala akong kausap. Okay, nakita. okay nakita yung camera. Okay. So, we have here A and... Okay. Check, check na lang na para hindi na yung hawak-hawak. Ayan. So, for the question number two, the list down daw yung formulas na na-discuss natin, which ay shuka. Ayan. So, A, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 or the times the common difference is the explicit formula or the arithmetic formula. It's just a review. Okay. And then, we have common ratio as simply as B over A lang yan para makuha nyo yung common ratio. Next is the sequence of the geomet uh, geometric sequence formula is A sub N is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by r or the ratio raised to n minus 1, which r is not equal to 0. Some of the geometric sequence is equal to a sub, n, a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1 over r minus 1. So, sa infinite sequence naman, geometric sequence, we have a sub 1, 1 minus r. So, ito yung mga sagot sa letter B. Yan, given na rin, given na rin sa inyo, ha? So, let's proceed with this part. Ang gulo-gulo. Isa lang gamit kong device. Naguguluhan si Mang Quality Pindutin. Oh my goodness. Ayan. But then, malinaw naman. So, consuming more fresh fruits and vegetables is one of the most important things you can do to stay healthy. Healthy? <laughs> Suppose you are one of the advocates of the Gublayan sa Tahanan Project of the Department of Education. You plant vegetables on your backyard. Nakikita po ba yung presentation ni Ma'am? Wala po, ma'am. Wala po, ma'am, eh. Oh, wala. Sorry. Balik si ma'am. Pero nakita niyo yung formula. Yung pinisit ni ma'am na formula. Nakita ba yung pinisit ni ma'am na formula or hindi? Para ma-screenshot nyo. Babalik ko doon. Hindi po, ma'am. Okay, hindi. So, ito siya. Punta ako ng punta, hindi kayo nagre-re ako. Screenshot na muna. Okay na? One, two, three. Pa-test na lang po. Okay po ba? Uy. Oh, hiliyat ako na rinig. Okay na ba? Screenshot na? Okay na po naman. Okay, so let's proceed with, the, with our proper discussion about the Gulayan sa Paaralan. Ito na yung start ng how to answer problem solving using sequence. So, day 1 daw, ang height niya is 1 cm. Day 2, 2 cm. Day 3, 4 cm. So, we have here the question. 
In question number one, what is the arithmetic? What is the sequence? Arithmetic or geometric? Explain your answer. Sabi natin, pag nakakakita tayo ng common difference, ang sequence ay arithmetic sequence. Pag nakakita tayo ng common ratio or meron silang pare-parehas na common ratio, it is geometric sequence. Now, question ni ma'am on height, depending on the height, it is a geometric or arithmetic? Arithmetic, ma'am. Geometric po. Ay, sorry ma'am. Height pala. Kala ko day. Sorry ma'am. Hindi ako nakikinig. Okay. So, hindi ka nakikinig ha. So, the answer is geometric. Right? Why? Kasi depending on the height, meron silang common ratio. At ano yung common ratio nila? Two. Two. Kasi, B over A or 2 divided by 1 is 2. 4 divided by 2 is also 2. So, meron silang common ratio. Ibig sabihin sila ay geometric sequence. Number 2. What formula you will be using to solve the problem? Ayan, binigay ko na sa inyo. Can you please help me to read doon sa mga nakapag-screenshot? Since it is geometric sequence, what is the formula? No one? My goodness. Hello, hello. How do you do? So for the geometric sequence, we have um, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 raised to uh, ratio exponent of n minus 1 where ratio is not equal to 0. So, yun yung sagot sa number 2. Meron pa po bang pinipresent si ma'am? Yes. Okay. So, number 3. What is the height of the mango plant after 7 or and after 10 days? 14 tsaka 20 ma'am. 14 at saka 20, yung height. Are you sure? Okay, so let's try to answer that using the manual method and then the, um, the with formula. Okay, so I will open again my notes. Ayan. 1, 2, 8 pala, ma'am. Okay. Ayan. So, the question is the 7th day and then the 10th day. Ayan. So, sabi, every day 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is the, this is the manual method o yung mano-mano proseso. Sa day 1 daw, ang height niya is 1 cm. Sa day 2, ang height niya 2 cm. Nakikita yung pinipresent ni ma'am? Apa. Yes. Okay. Sa day 3, ang height niya 4 cm. Sa day 4, ang height niya 8 cm. Sa day 5, ano ang height niya? 16. 16 po. Cm. Okay. Very good. Now let's 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 do the rabadabang charot. Hello, son. Ayan. So on the six, seven, eight, and then nine and ten days. Sixteen on the sixth day and. Nung CM na siya? 32. 32. On the 7th day? 64. 64 CM. Meaning, on the 7th day, ang CM niya na ay, o ang height niya na ay, 
64. Ito yung mano-mano nga, ah. Ulitin ko. But we can use also the formula para mas madali natin siya masagot. Number 8. Uh, day 8. Ano nang, ano nang, ano niya? Height niya? 128. 128. On the 9th day, ano nang height niya? 256. 2, 5, 6. On the 10th day, ano na height niya? 512. 512. So, meaning, on the 7th day and on the 10th day, the height is 64 and 512 or 512 respectively. Let's try to answer that without um using the manual method but using the formula of the geometric geometric name such as a sub n is equal to a sub 1 raised to r n minus 1 which r is equal is not equal to 0 so we're looking for the seventh day so we have 7 as n ang ating a1 i1 Ang ating R or common ratio is 2. Ang ating N ay 7 minus 1. So, ang ating A7 or A sub 7 is equal to 2 raised to 6. Kasi 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. So, we have here 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64 cm. Same, same. Parehas. Ma'am, paano natin eh? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 64. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to 64. Intiende? Naintindihan ba yun? Yes or no? Opo, ma'am. Opo, ma'am. Okay, so pakisagot nga yung... 10th term using the formula. Who wants to try? Very easy. It's very easy. You want to try? Um, Jana? Gusto ba mag-try? Or ni Jerome? Or ni Ma 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 Marie? Sasama pa po yung sagot dyan sa ano, modules na ipapasa, ma'am? Ulitin pa yes, po namin yes, sa... Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. At least i re nyo na lang kasi miss, alam nyo na yung sagot, diba? Who wants to try? Wala? Okay. And then, we'll try. Dapat ang lalabas na sagot ay 5, 1, 2. So, we have here a... Sub n, and din sa sulat naman yan. So, we have a ten term is equal to 1 times 2 times 10 raised to 1. So, we have a sub 10 is equal to 2 raised to 9. What is 2 raised to 9? 2 raised to 9 is also 5, 1, 2. So, they are thing Using the geometric formula, we can answer and get the 7th and 10th term. And also, using the manual method, you can also get the 7th and 10th term having the same answer or getting the same answer. Press to 1 kung naiintindihan at para magpatuloy tayo sa susunod. Press 2 kung may tanong. Okay, good. So, let's proceed with the next question. Formula, okay, seven days, okay. And for number four, write out the first term. So, the first five term is one, two, four, eight. One, two, four, eight, and sixteen. Next question, number five, according to science, the mango plant can reach the height of 64 cm. How many days will it take to reach that height? Kung pang 64 cm daw, pang ilang days siya? So the answer is 
7. Pang 7 day, para ma-reach niya yung 64 centimeters. Question po sa 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. May question ba? Kung meron, press 2. Kung wala, press 1. And let's proceed with the next slide. Okay, good. Let's proceed with the next slide. Such as the first step problem solving or the EPSE method. So, dito lang, ina-explain kung paano natin, na, paano na undergo yung problem solving in this such um, um, process or process. Ayan. So, on our explore, first is to define the problem. Ano ba yung problema? Ano ba yung hinahanap natin? So, we have to explore the problem. Number two is to identify all the given. All the given. Ano, ano ba yung mga meron? sa loob ng problema. Write out the sequence and determine the formula that we'll gonna use. So, ito yun. Number three is to solve the question. In doing the question, you can use the formula given on your plan. And number four is to examine. Ayan po, yung pagkakakin ng sunod ng ginawa natin para masagot natin yung problem kanina. So, we need to explore, to plan, to solve and to examine. So we have here for our example number one. For our example number one is as easy as this. Suppose you have an arithmetic sequence in the first, if the first term is two, and then the common difference is four. What is the sixth number in the sequence? So yun yung problem. We need to explore, plan, solve, and evaluate. Explore. Ano ba yung inahanap? What is given? What is the fourth term? Ano ang fourth term or sixth term, rather? Ayan. So, maybe it is just a typographical error. Given on the plan, sa plan, under siya, sa, nag-undergo siya sa plan, ano-ano yung mga given? First term or A sub 1 is equal to 2. Common difference is 4, given yan, and then the n or the 6th term. Formula using the arithmetic formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus open parenthesis n minus 1 is equal to b. Ma'am, bakit po yan yung gagamitin? Kasi yan yung arithmetic formula. Sabi sa no, suppose you have an arithmetic sequence. Next, on solve. In solving, just do the, this, uh, trans, uh, the, 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 Ano Substitu substitution method. Ang term natin is a sub 6 is equal to 2 kasi ang 2 natin yung a sub 1 o yung first term plus ang n natin na sa given ay 6 minus 1 kasi yun yung sa formula and then the common difference is 4. So we have 2 plus 5 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 plus 2 is 22. Meaning the sixth term is 22. Question. Press 2. Kung may tanong, press 1 po. Kung wala. Okay. My very easy. Next. On our example number 2, what is the harmonic sequence in the arithmetic sequence? 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22. As easy as harmonic sequence is obtained by getting the reciprocal of an arithmetic sequence. So, kung ang arithmetic sequence mo ay 2, 6, 10, 14, 18, 22, ang harmonic sequence mo ay 1 half, 1 6, 1 10, 1 over 14, 1 over 18, 1 over 22, infinity. Question po sa harmonic sequence. Press 2 kung may tanong. Press 1 kung wala. Okay. There you go. Let's proceed. Since you're typing or key in, nyo I want. Next, example number 2. What 
type of sequence is described in 1, 2, 3, 5, 8? And why? The answer is the sequence is Fibonacci. The next number is found by adding up the two numbers before. So, since nag add lang siya ng two numbers before the next number, meaning it is a Fibonacci. The next number is found by adding up the two numbers before it. Ayan. So, paano yun? Um, two numbers before it. So, halimbawa, yung two. Zero and one, yung nasa first number niya, di ba? So, ano yung zero? Ang gulo. Teka lang. Paano ko ba papaliwa? Ayan. Ganun lang naman eh. Di ko, di ko kasi malag... Di ko, di, wala kasi cursor sa cellphone eh. So, two numbers before it. So, proceed muna tayo sa three. Mag-focus kayo sa three. Ano yung first two numbers before three? So, it is 1 and 2. So, 1 plus 2 one and is two. 3. Yes, 1 and 2 is 3. Kaya naging 3 yung third number. Now, on the fifth number, what is the two number before it? The two number before 5 is 2 and 3. So, since 2 plus 3, ang magiging next number niya is 5. Now, on number 8, focus on number 8. Ano yung first two number before 8? It is 3 and 5, kaya natin 8. Now, let's answer what is the sixth number? What is the sixth term? 13. What is the sixth term? 13. Very good. Why? Because 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. What is the seventh number? Twenty-one. Twenty-two. So, yung sequence, it is called as Hebo T. We will answer this. It is a bonus question rin para sa inyo, nakasama sa module nyo. And then, after this, you will now proceed in answering your module. Number one, is to answer this guided question, the explore, plan, solve, and evaluate. Ayan. So, for the direction, use the EPSE in answering the problem and write the solution on the separate sheet of paper. So, you wish to deposit your money in bank as your future investment. The bank gives you two options to choose from, which can be seen below. Which investment uh, option gives you more benefits in 10 years? And then justify your answer. So, number one. What is as in the problem? Ano ba yung tinatanong? Ang tinatanong is which investment option ang mas okay. Number two. It is... Is the problem arithmetic or geometric? Option A, arithmetic or geometric? Option A, tignan yung option A, arithmetic or arithmetic. geometric? Arithmetic. Very good. Why? Because meron ka kung reference lang na 1,000. How about option B, arithmetic or geometric? Geometric. 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 Why? Okay Kasi na yung mic ko. <laughs> Yes, okay na. Meron kang common ratio na 2. Kasi 100,000 divided by 50,000 is 2. 200,000 divided by 100,000 is 2. 400,000 divided by 200,000 is 2. Meaning, if the problem, the problem is both arithmetic and geometric. Okay? Number three is to identify all the given. Ang given po ay option A and option B. Lahat ng nasa undergo doon and yung 10 years. Okay? Next, number four. What is the formula to be used to solve the problem? Since it is both arithmetic and geometric, you need to, you need to use both, um, you need to use both formulas. Yung formulas ng arithmetic at ng geometric. 
take. Number five is to solve the question. And then number six is to evaluate the outcome. So I'll show you the answer. So yan yung answer sa activity number one. Ayan, bonus. So di ba napakalaking, napakadaming benefit ng pag-online class? Nakikita ni Ma, nakikita yung sagot sa activity number one? Yes? Yes or no? Hello? Hello? Nakikita po ba yung, yung answers? Oh, Apo, ma'am. Number one? Okay, good. So, explore. You can do screenshots para may bonus na answer na kayo. Explore investment option, yung tinatanong. Number two, arithmetic and geometric ang sagot. Number three, option A, option B, and then 10 years, yung given. Number four, yung dalawang formula such as A sub 1 is equal to R, N minus 1, close parenthesis, and then the geometric, the arithmetic formula such as N, A, to, A, A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus, open and close parenthesis, N minus 1, multiplied by the common difference. So, in solving... Option one, you need to find it. How much is your money after 10 years? So the formula used is the arithmetic formula. Such as 10,000 plus 10 minus 1 kasi 10 years multiplied by the common difference. Common difference is 1,000. Ayan. Bakit 1,000, ma'am? Bakit 1,000? 10,000, 11,000 minus 10,000 is 1,000, 12,000 minus 11,000 is 1,000. So, ang common difference nyo ay 1,000. So, we have 10,000 plus 9 to eh. Yung 10 minus 1, 9. So, binultiply ko na siya by 1,000. So, we have 9,000. So, after 10 years, sa option A, meron ka 19,000 pesos eh. Kasama na yung interest. Let's proceed. Yung which in kuhunan mo is 10,000 lang. Sa option B, we have 50,000. Ang formula natin ay yung geometric formula such as A sub 1 multiplied by R n raised to 1. So we have 50,000. Ayan. 50,000 yung A sub 1 natin kasi yun yung first term. My, uh, multiplied by common ratio natin ay 2. Bakit nga ba 2? Kasi divide by 2, 50. 100 divided by 50, 2, 200 divided by 100, 2, 400 divided by 200, 2. So we have um, 25,000 ay 512. 2 raised to 9 is 512. 50 times 512 is 25,000. Uh, 25,600,000. So obviously, on your evaluate, you will answer option B kasi mas malaki yung kinita ng pera mo na 50,000 pesos naging million-million siya after 10 years compared to 10,000 mong kuhunan after 9 years tumubol lang siya at naging 19,000 pesos lang siya. So that was the process on how you answer problem solving involving geometric and arithmetic sequence. Now, I show you also um, on your uh, module, meron na siyang mga susunod na activities na hindi na sinama ni Ma'am sa presentation kasi yun na yung kailangan niyong sagutan. So, meaning, bonus na lagi tong activity number one natin. So, ito yung sagot. Pwede niyong screenshot and then answer it. Uh, and then copy and uh, um, and evaluate your answer later. So, now, question po. Press 1 kung naintindihan kung paano gumamit ng EPSE. Press 2 kung may tanong at nalilito po. Okay. Now, can you please help me to summarize our lesson for this afternoon in your own words lang. Angel, please. Pakisummarize yung mga natutunan mo ngayong hapon sa session natin. 
How about Miel? Ayan, dahil may mic ka na. Hello po. Hello. <laughs> Nalinaw po ba? Ayan, okay na ba? Nalinaw po ba? Can you please help me to summarize what you have learned within the period? Okay na po, ma'am. Yes, please. Yung natutunan ko po on how to solve a word, word problem involving sequence is um, meron pong four step, which is one, explore. Yung i-analyze mo po yung problem if it is Geometric or arithmetic. Number two, okay. plan. Okay. Hmm. solve mo po kung paano. Ay. What was the Isipin formula to choose? Ano yung... The given. Yes. Yes. Apo, tapos, three, solve. I-simplify yung equation or yung given sa problem. And then last, examine. I-check mo po if tama yung sagot mo. Okay. So, salamat, Angel. Examine. Yes, letter E. Sorry for my um, typo rin. So, number, uh, the four steps in answering problem solving is to explore, plan, solve, and evaluate. Pag ginamit mo tong steps by step procedure na to, mas madadalian ka ma- maka-come up sa iyong final answer. Anyways, as lagi kong binabanggit, very easy lang naman ang mga naka, na, mga naka-undergo na problem. So, meaning, you can answer it manually or if you want to answer it. Dalo kung merong choices naman at kaya niyo naman siya sagutin sa utak niyo, you can use manual method. But if the problem is requiring a um, solution, of course, you will do the process. Okay? So, any question before we end? No more? You can open your mic and say goodbye. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> Goodbye and God bless. See you next vlog. Mambuti walang ano, walang walang project sa mat. So ba? Ba? Wag mo maawa pa sa akin, ma'am. Dami na, ma'am. Syempre hindi ko na kayo mapahirapan kayo pa. Goodbye. See you next time.